what's going on guys my name is Shay so you can call me yay welcome to my channel if you're new and if you've been following my journey with full metal alchemist welcome back so we're heading over to episode 30 and it just looks like we're going to get a flashback on exactly what had happened with the war in ishval i mean we got dr marco begging for scar to take his life but scar wants to know what the truth is so I guess we're gonna get it today. So I'm ready to hop right into it. But before we do, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit that bell notification so you know when I post new videos. Now let's hop right into it. I've created the most powerful alchemy. It would only cause tragedy if I placed it in the wrong hands. Should I know what alchemy he's talking about? Cause I don't. <laughs> Master! <laughs> oh, this guy's really sick. Are you all right? Master Hawkeye! Look after my daughter. She's oh. in possession of my research. Look after her. Huh. Oh, that's sad. I wouldn't have realized that Hawkeye would have, like, had something so important in her hands, in her possession. Father told me soldiers are left to die like trash on the side of the road. That may be, but I know it's the only way to make a difference. And I know I'll never be happy if I don't try to make this country. So she joins along place. with him. <laughs> Man, that must have sounded pretty childish, huh? <laughs> Not at all. There's nothing childish about caring. You know, Scar, I found out he murdered Winry's parents. She could have shot him. But deep down, I knew that would be wrong. She could hardly stop crying once I got the gun away. And it's my fault. No resolve. I only managed to make things worse. You're just dwelling on this stuff because you made it back alive. <laughs> you need to stay focused on living. That's how you'll help Winry. She's right about that. Protect her. Mm. I mean, after all, you love her, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Poor dog. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it, it's not like that. We've just been friends since we were little kids. Yeah, and she's like family to yeah. me. I mean, of course. I'm gonna be protector, you know? <laughs> what happened with Scott? <laughs> I'm sorry. This only added to your burdens. I've gotta ask. Does it ever feel like a burden to you? I've lost the right to look at it that way. So I'd be wrong to complain. I'm not proud of it. Hmm? But I've killed too many to feel sorry for myself. You mean Ishval? Can I ask you about that? Would it be all right? That one bullet changed everything. Their mistrust turned to outrage. It soon escalated into a civil war. It took a few and the years, right? Seven yeah. Years. Until a simple one-page document determined the Ishvalan's fate. The extermination. Executive Order 3066. The official order to initiate the Ishvalan War of Extermination. That that just gave me chills. That's so crazy to go out and exterminate like this whole like group of people. It was like hell on earth. The air was tainted with the smell of human decay, and the desert sand soaked up the blood like a sponge. Wow. A normal soldier might fire erratically without a clear target in mind. But it's different for snipers. Someone is sure to die when we pull the trigger. Ooh, chills! You must be in a whole different mindset to be able to do something like this. Man, look at him. Look at Armstrong. You've changed since the last time I saw you. I could say the same, Hughes. You have the eyes of a killer. I mean, at this point, they all are. Captain, you have a letter. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I still got a beautiful and future. And her name is Gracia. She's patiently waiting at Central oh. for the day to come home. <laughs> all alone. Before some jerk puts the moves on her! <laughs> Aww. Never I miss him. All right, then. I can make it through this day. Hmm? This letter is all I need. I can think about tomorrow again. Aww. Even if this damn battlefield might not let me see it. 
Hello, Major Mustang. Long time no see. Do you still remember me? Oh, was it a wow? Even her. She has the eyes of a killer, too. I wonder how long it's been since they last see each other at that point. Maybe you can answer this, Major. Why are we being ordered to kill citizens when we should be the ones protecting them? I thought oh, alchemy was meant her. to be used to help people. So why is it being used to kill them instead? Oh, he's shaking Because too. that's the job we state alchemists have been given to do. You ask why we're here killing these people. He's the guy that's been in jail this whole time. He's the one that started like that move on Scar and his brother. Look straight at the people you kill. Don't take your eyes off them for a second. And don't ever forget them. Uh, yeah, they're traumatized. I promise that they will This is just you. way too big for it not to affect them. Oh, too bad. But that guy seems okay with it. Time for me to get back to work. Hughes. Tell me why you fight. It's simple. I don't want to die. That's the only reason. The reasons are always simple. If that's so, what the hell is the reason for this war? The reason? There is one. But it's worse than you can imagine. Oh, it's... oh, wait. But why that? Oh my gosh. I thought it was prisoners they were using. Yeah, so a while ago, I thought one stone was one life, but no, apparently it's multiple lives in this. In that it was given stone. to Major Zolf J. Kimberly. He was known as the Crimson Alchemist. Did you see what this man looked like? He did did he have black him. hair and cold eyes? Yes. My brother. Keep talking. Everything changed. That single stone turned the battle around. This land that's governed by death, I will paint it red with this shard of destruction. He's such a mystery to I me. I dream of a more fulfilling job. Like, why is he so psycho? <laughs> Like, who is this guy? With no other options, the Ishvalan surrendered. The high priest of Ishvala, Lo Glo, offered himself to the Fuhrer on behalf of his people. So, you're asking me to take your life in place of the remaining tens of thousands of Ishvalans? That's correct. I stand... How arrogant of you. Do you sincerely believe that your single life is equivalent to the remaining multitude of your followers? Your stature has gone to your head. The life of any individual human is only worth one life. That's all. Wow. And that's it. The war soon ended. And we were all discharged and returned to our homes. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people I love. I wonder... In turn, they'll protect the ones they love. I wonder if he'll get the position. Because he wants King Bradley's spot. And I'm sure once he does, it'll change everything. But that means taking down, like, all the bad people. So I'm pretty sure that's what he's, like, plotting internally. So you've decided to take this path after all, even after what you went through in Ishfall. So is this when she got assigned to him? From now on, I'm assigning you to be my assistant. Okay, there you I go. I feel like I can trust you to watch my back. Although, I expect you understand what this means. You'll be able to shoot me in the back as well. If I ever deviate from this path, then I want you to shoot me. And I'm trusting you to do so. Hmm. Do you accept my offer? Of course I do, sir. I'll follow you into hell if you ask me to. Only after the full extent of the military's corruption has been brought to light can this country move forward. What do you mean? For example, those who were praised as heroes during the Ishvalan campaign will be brought to trial as war criminals. <laughs> That's right. In a just, peaceful world, after all that we've done, we'll be seen as mass murderers. And the Colonel is trying to make sure this happens? Isn't that just like committing suicide? But the homunculi were the ones pulling the strings. They caused the civil war. 
even if they were the ones responsible for it. They still did the we dirty the work. soldiers who carried it out. Yeah. <laughs> you need to look after your brother, Ed, and you need to get your bodies back. You better get to it. You got plenty of people waiting for that day. Um, it's a lot going on. Excuse me, Mr. Armor. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you for your help. You saved both of our lives. My name's not Mr. Armor. It's Alphonse Elric. Your name is Elric? You remember Edward Elric, don't you? The little alchemist you screamed at? <laughs> well, I'm actually his younger brother. It's kind of a long story, but I lost my body. So you're his younger brother. <laughs> the way she's imagining him now. Just like him then. How rude! <laughs> For starters, I am way taller than my brother is, and I don't have a mean face like his, and I'm a much better fighter, too. <laughs> and I don't have a temper like he does. I'm a gentleman. Aww, it's so cute. <laughs> I really hope that you get your body back Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> He's so cute. Hope you're decent, Doc. Time for your supper. Oh, the scar's in there. Huh, it sure is quiet in here. Are you thinking about Ishval and crying go. yourself to sleep? <gasps> no. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. That caught me off guard. I need. I'm in shock. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Scar got his story, and Dr. Marco got what he wanted. And I mean, just that's that's just it. But man, I didn't think they were gonna show it like that. Holy crap! That was freaking brutal. But yeah, I mean, it, it was very sad having to see the story of how the war came about. But it's all corruption, and I mean, well, Hawkeye. Had to say was true i mean if mustang wants to be in king bradley's spot i mean at least it's good that he's trying to like turn this around but it does come with consequence and i can see how that you know they, they, they did something horrible under the command of king bradley and i mean maybe some might be able even if they go through trial they'll still be considered murderers and maybe they'll all have to serve time or get executed or what but there's some good people in there while there's some that just that just freaking crazy like Kimberly like he's legit crazy so I, I, I want to know more about him he seems like a really he's very mysterious to me like we know nothing of I mean I know nothing about him at this point so I'm really curious to see when they're gonna bring him more up in this in the series but that's all I have for you guys today thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it comment down below I have, ugh, comment down below I love hearing from you guys Subscribe for more content and I'll see you for the next one.